Good morning, everybody. It's Ann Katzef of Ask Design. I'm going to show you today how to create a seamless pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I love patterns. Uh, there are so many cool applications for them, like book covers and posters, CD packages, textile design, iPhone cases, you know, just a bunch of things. The list goes on and on. And it's really fun making them. So I'm going to show you how I make them. Uh, so get your uh, computer ready. Maybe you want to follow along or just take notes and uh, we'll rock and roll together in a few seconds. Okay, so here we are in um, the Illustrator file uh, I'll use for uh, showing you what we're, what we're doing today. So the first step is to create a new document in Adobe Illustrator, and the dimensions must be square in order for this to work. So this document is 600 pixels square. Uh, it really doesn't matter what your dimensions are, uh, so long as they're square. So I've got 600. Okay, I'm in pixels here, so 600 this way and 600 down here. Um, the initial view that I'm showing to you has the objects that I want to uh, sit on the scene uh, appearing for you to see without any anything else in the pattern yet. So I created the mandala and the butterflies and this mandala, you know, and the little floral thing. I created those separately and then I brought them into this file. So the first step was to place the uh, first mandala on the left edge of the 600 pixel uh, square. And then once you, you know, you've positioned it um, where you want, you select it and um, you want to copy it and then paste it in front. And then once you paste it in front, you can move it in a couple of different ways, which I've already done here. I'm going to show you uh, uh, method number one is to go to the object uh, menu upstairs here, down to transform and move. Okay and you put in 600 pixels. Now think about that, it makes sense, right? You're on the left scene, you want to simply move the copy of it onto the right scene. So it's the X coordinate that we're um, playing with here. It's the uh, horizontal. Oh, sorry, actually it should be vertical, correct? Yep, okay. You can preview to make sure you're doing it correctly. And here I've got it um, on the right side. The other method that I tend to use more often is to also select the item and go up to the control panel here and move, move it by adding plus 600 pixels. Okay, and if I hit enter, it will copy it over to the right side here, which it has done. Okay, I don't know why it keeps disappearing on us. Okay. The top items, okay, you want to uh, do the same thing, copy and paste in front. So let's go to the edit menu, copy. And then once I copy it, it's in my clipboard. I go back to the edit menu and paste in front. So now I've got two of them right on top of each other. And then you go to the Y coordinate because you're moving it down and you add 600 pixels like that, okay? I'm not gonna actually do it because I've already got the duplicate here. So that's what I've done. I mean, I, I went over to uh, the left side, copied it to the right, and uh, then I've got these three items, the butterfly, the a smaller mandala, and the floral shape. Um, I duplicated paste it in front, and move them downstairs. So that's that. We're going to just save this, right? And um, then I'll show you little by little how I got these other elements into the pattern because you see I have all this negative space, right? I want to fill it up. So I'm just going to start adding the other things 
that I've got in the pattern. And you'll see some of the sizes are varied, you know, one at a time. See if I've missed any in my layers panel here. Oops. Little by little, okay? And so that is the uh, overall pattern. And now let's see what happens uh, to actually get this um, to be a swatch that you can use um, just like you would fill an object with color, you can fill an object with a, um, a pattern. Okay, so the method that I use is to create a clipping path. So I've got um, a rectangle, all right, I've already constructed the rectangle. It's 600, you can see upstairs here. It's 600 by 600. There's no fill and no um, stroke, okay? The, that's very important. Um, it's just going to serve as a mask. It will clip, they call it a clipping mask. It clips out the exterior stuff here that you see on the pasteboard and just keeps what's on the white area, which is the artboard, okay? White is the artboard and this gray is the pasteboard. Now it's really crucial when creating a clipping mask to um, place the mask, the um, object here is um, a square. It can be a rectangle, it can be a triangle, a circle, it can be any shape. In this case, I want it to be the 600 pixel square. And it must rest on top of all the items that you want to um, be masked out. So once I've got it positioned there, so I'm selecting it now, you can see it again. I'm actually going to lasso everything. Okay, click and drag and um, select everything. Go to the object uh, drop down menu, scroll all the way down to clipping mask and make. Okay. That way it all gets clipped out. Okay, just like that. Beautiful. Save the file. I periodically save the file to make sure everything's okay. And once that is uh, clipped and part of the clipping mask, it's changed its name here. You can select the whole thing again and um, open your swatches panel and drag it into your swatches panel. So let's give it a try. Let's drag it in there. It should create a new swatch and it does. Okay. Okay, so once you have the um, the new pattern in your swatches panel. I have two of them identical to each other because I've done this before. Um, the way to really uh, enjoy the pattern is to use it. And uh, we're going to create a new pasteboard. So go to your, I'm, I'm sorry, artboard. Go to your new artboard tool and create a new artboard. I've already done it, so I'm going to just show it to you. Okay. Bear with me while I get everything lined up. I'm just going to move it closer. Okay. My new artboard is double the size of the original artboard. So I started off with a 600 pixel square. My new artboard is 1200 pixels square. And um, I'm doing that because I want to show you how the pattern um, is seamless once you add it to a new and larger area. So now I'm creating, uh, with my rectangle tool, I'm creating a square that fits on that um, area and um, filling the square with my pattern. So let me go in here 
and bring it in. Okay. So I created a new square, 1200 by 1200, and filled it with my new swatch, which is the pattern. So you can play around with this. I've done other patterns. So here's one. There's the new pattern, slightly different. Let's try the third one. What does this one look like? Yeah, they're all slightly different. But you can see how this pattern is duplicated four, basically four times in the larger space. And um, I've just done this in black and white uh, simply to simplify the look of it for you. But, I mean, go for it. You can add colors. You can add background colors, all kinds of colors for the strokes and the fills. Um, and it's really a lot of fun. So I hope this tutorial has been uh, useful to you. Please feel free to ask questions or leave comments um, on my YouTube channel or my blog um, at www.askdesign.biz slash blog. And have a great day. Bye.